Hi friends, time for journals. Today is Tuesday. So you're looking for the page that has a number 28 on it. And you're going to see some pictures of a finger. And I don't know what that other one is. And a nurse and a cat. Okay, so our month is April. Circle April is the one at the top that starts with an uppercase A. Today is the 21st day of April. So you're going to write 21. And then our year is still about 2020. If we were writing our date with just numbers, we would write 4, 21, 20. Today is Tuesday. You're going to start with an uppercase T, lowercase Q, lowercase E, lowercase S, lowercase D, lowercase A, lowercase Y. So it says we are going to write the missing letters. Okay, so the first one looks like a finger and it looks like it is hurt. What letters are missing in the word hurt? U R says er. So the first sound is what letter will you write? H U R hurt hurt. The word is hurt. H U R T. Mrs. Hoffman isn't sure what this one is, so we're going to leave the next one. The next one is a nurse. Nurse. Mmm. Mmm is the first sound. Mmm. N -er -s. The last sound is s for s, and there's also an e on the end. Nurse. This one is a cat, and it's pointing to his fur. Fur. What letter goes at the beginning of fur? Do it before I do. Fur. Now, we're going to take one of these words and we're going to write a sentence. If you want to, you can use all of the words, you can use one of the words, or you can use the same word that Mrs. Hoffman does and do my sentence. I'm going to use the word fur. Mrs. Hoffman has a cat that has black. So I'm going to say, my cat has black fur. How many words in my sentence? Five. You can write my sentence or you can write your own. My first word is my, M-Y. And remember, when we write a sentence, we begin with a capital letter. My, finger space, cat. My cat. Next word is has. As. My cat has black. B -o -a -k. And the k sound in this word has two letters, C and K. I know how to spell fur because it's up here. My cat has black fur. And I'm going to put a period at the end. And I'll draw a picture of my cat. It's a quick one. And he has black fur. There's my cat. Okay, you're going to practice the number 28. We write that with a 2 
and an 8. Make sure when you make your, your 8, you're making an S and closing the gate. Write your numbers starting at the top and going all the way down to the bottom. Use the whole line, just like Mrs. Hoffman did. If you need to stop the video, you can. Mm, here's an incredible equation. So we are going to start thinking about equations sometimes on our journal pages. So it says, write the many ways you can make six. So I'm going to draw six circles because I want to show the ways that I can make six. So if I have my six circles, I'm going to check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, you can draw a break apart stick if you'd like to, if that helps your brain get a picture. So, Mrs. Hoffman, I think I am going to use a marker. And I'm going to show some ways that you can make six. So if I put my break apart stick right here, how many circles are on this side? One. And how many circles are on this side of the break apart stick? Five. So I know that one circle plus five more circles equals six circles altogether. So I can write. 1 plus 5 equals 6. Now, there's my equation. 1 plus 5 equals 6. If I choose a different color of marker and I move my break apart stick with my different color over 1. So this is the break apart stick I'm looking at now, the yellow one. How many circles are on this side of the yellow break apart stick? There are two. How many circles are on this side of the yellow break apart stick? There are four. So I know that two circles plus four circles equals six circles altogether. Let's try one more break apart stick. I'm going to take another marker. And I'm going to move it over another circle. So now, this time we're going to look at the blue break apart stick. How many circles on this side of the blue break apart stick? Three. How many on this side? Three. Ooh, there's a double. So we know that three plus three equals six. Mrs. Hoffman's going to just do those, but there are more ways that you can make six. If you want to stop the video and show me more ways, you can. Now it says, write a number bond for six. So a number bond is another way to show an equation that totals six. So I put six in the middle because I want to add two numbers together to make six. That's called a number bond, or we say number partners. So one and five are number partners of six. Two and four are number partners of six. And three and three are number partners of six. So I could choose to put one and five in these circles. I could choose to put a 2 and a 4 in those circles, or I could choose to put a 3 and a 3. I think I'm going to put the 3. So I'm showing a number bond for 6 or number partners for 6. So 3 and 3 put together make 6. So it gives your brain another picture. Okay, let's see what you get to write about today. Here is a basket. This word says basket. Here is a blanket. Hmm, this might be a picnic sentence or two. This word says blanket. This word is a long word. It says sandwich. This word is apple. And this word is 
ants. What a fun sentence you can write, but guess what? I want you to stretch your brain, and I want you to write two sentences. Will you write two sentences today for me? So you can choose to write a bas about a basket, a blanket, a sandwich, an apple, and some ants. Those are going to be good sentences. Remember to use a capital letter at the beginning, finger spaces in between your sentences, if you don't know how to spell a word, you're going to write down the sounds you hear. You're going to put a period at the end, and you're going to draw a picture. Remember to check your boxes and give yourself a smiley face when you are done. Thanks for working hard on your journals today.